You know, it is a sound that we have all grown accustomed to, the loud, high-pitched sounds of a leaf blower. But what if there was a way to quiet that noise? Well, now there is, thanks to four seniors at Johns Hopkins University. WMER 2 News, Janae Wright has the details. The sound of a leaf blower can be really loud and annoying, especially early in the morning. A group of students at Johns Hopkins University has created a device to help reduce the noise. Whether you live in a neighborhood or an apartment complex, it's hard to escape the uncomfortable sounds of yard work. So by hearing a lower, more pleasant frequency, overall tune um, of the leaf blower, like that would be a much more pleasant experience than hearing that high pitched whistling noise that can frequently annoy your neighbors at 8 a.m. when they're trying to sleep. We can probably join the two parts with ultrasonic welding. Four seniors with the support from Stanley Black and Decker have the task of quieting the leaf blower without reducing its power. But Andrew Palacio says it wasn't easy. Many, some of them succeeded, some of them failed. Um, that's just what the engineering process is all about. But with that, we eventually came across the final prototype that we have today. It took the seniors the entire school year to create the final prototype. Michael Chacon says he felt empowered by the journey, even though it was difficult. You know, a lot of times, you know, through life, you're just, it, failure is not really seen as a good thing, but it really pushes you one step closer to a solution. And um, just learning how to appreciate that was really, really important. The student's improved leaf blower drops the overall noise by nearly 40%. As air is coming in through the back, through the fan, and down the leaf blower, some of the air is going to be going through these helical channels that we have designed here to target a specific frequency and create destructive interference as it exits and recombines with the airflow going through the center. In other words, we kind of just shifted the sound waves such that the peaks canceled out and we got less noise out of it. With the device, the high pitched sound you hear from the leaf blower is no more. Palacio says this project was one of his favorites. I did this one last night. Because he and his classmates were creating a product, not just an idea. So in school, they teach you a lot of theory, which is super important, and a lot of math as well. And all those things are great and needed to be an engineer. But ultimately, you also need to be able to work with your hands and physically get them dirty sometimes and try new things. As long as I make it clear, you can't. The students use 3D printing to make each prototype, which Chacon says was a huge help. He says the research was faster since they can make each design in less than a day and test it out immediately. See that one thing that we developed on a, on a computer software is now like physically in our hands. I think is, is a really beautiful kind of feeling that I, it's very rewarding. Right, because the blade pass out. frequency is a lot higher. And since the students were able to succeed and create a device that actually works, they say they're excited to see it put to use one day. You take on this project, you're like, oh, this is kind of more maybe theoretical, but to see it actually coming in a real life product that, you know, your neighbors, your parents, your family members can end up using is really like awesome to see. Stanley Black & Decker will now manufacture this device and in about two years, you'll be able to find it in stores. Janae Wright, WMAR 2 News.